Hi, so today I'd like to try and continue debugging where the bike isn't going to start or bit of fault finding. And one of the first things I'm going to check is that the there is compression in all four. I actually personally believe it's something with fueling, but first of all, let's just eliminate compression. And to that end, I have compression gauge that's hopefully got the right screw fitting on. It's just a cheap one bought off of, I think, eBay, maybe Amazon. I'll double check and find out. Wasn't that expensive, but it should let me know at least if I've got even compression across all of them, roughly where I'm sitting. I'm not overly concerned about accuracy. I imagine that statement's going to bite me in the ass. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to have good compression, but we'll see afterwards. Now, things to bear in mind is you don't want fuel going in as well. So what I've done is up here, you can see I have this, hopefully you can see, I've disconnected the fuel pump so that there's no longer any fuel being pressure fed into the fuel rail and the injectors. And all I'm going to do is basically unplug them all, plug in my compression tester and full throttle it as I understand it. So the valves are all open and press the starter until this needle climbs around and stops climbing so it should be about three or four seconds. Never done this before, so we'll see how we do. They're all coming out looking pretty good. Once I said that, looking pretty good. This plug, you can see, shattered plastic. So, sorry, not plastic, the shattered ceramic around the side here. Ooh, too close, there we go. So that's not good, but the end wasn't great. So, first one's come out fine. That's two. So this is number three. Again, looks all nice on the end. This one's all intact around. Again, close up here, you can see that's quite good. Again, okay, this one's not broken. So, one, two, three, four. All looking pretty good across there, but this one is knackered. So what I'll do is I'll replace this one, because I have a spare set of spark plugs, but I want to see how these all fare. So I'll replace that one, but first of all, let's carry on with the compression test. Now, I've only gone finger tight by twisting the rubber, because I don't know how easy it is to get out. I really don't want to be deeping into that engine. Now, I'm going to hopefully have this positioned somewhere I can see it and you can also see it as I turn stuff over. So let's give that a go. Hopefully you can see that as well. Right. It's fully on. Wide open throttle. Okay, so first one it looks to be at 110. All right, I'm actually going to get a piece of paper and write this down. So that is 110. And the top range is PSA. All right, so we've written down 110. What I'll do now is I'll test the others. Okay, so what you've just seen, hopefully, my little GoPro has caught it, is the gauge as it went through. Now I did everything with, as I said, full throttle, battery's fully charged, 
don't know how good it is now after all that testing. Um, mission on, uh, full throttle, sorry. Pushed a button, waited till it stopped moving, and then I read the PSI. Now, bear in mind, this is the cheap one off Amazon, but I'll give you what the results were. As you can see, it's 110 on cylinder one, 125 ish, 125 ish again on two and three, then 140 on four. Now, from my little book here, it says good compression, over 145 psi. So I think four, good compression, or at least normal. And normal is one, two, three to one, four, five. And I think those two are sitting about normal. One ten is poor compression, and that's on my cylinder one. Now. I've done some research and this thing's been sitting for a while and what people suggest is it's probably fine compression wise it might just need some oil down the cylinders let that kind of lube up for a little while let the rings kind of move and then everything will be fine so what I'll do is I'll do that probably at the end of the day let it soak for a bit and then try I'd rather have a smoky startup and good cylinder compression what I'm going to do now is go through and check my spark plugs I'd like to see some light. Uh, if all the coils are working, I've got good spark. I've replaced the one that's broken here. So I quite badly had the ceramic broken. No, sure, no idea how that's happened. I've never seen that before. But um, I'm going to use this little spark plug tester doohickey and we'll see if that actually works. Hopefully I'll be able to see some kind of light. I got spark. Awesome. Cylinder one, spark. Let's move down. This is two. That's two. Spark. It's a bit hard to see in the daylight here, but this is the time I got to work on stuff. So that's two sorted. Yeah, three and four are one of these two. So the other one's not labelled for some annoying reason. seen a spark on that. Maybe it's just dark. There we go. It's just dark, I couldn't see it. And finally, four, which is the other unlabeled one. There's spark there as well. So I've got good news. As in, I have spark on all four cylinders, and I have compression-ish on all four, but good compression or within range compression across the two, three, and four. One's a little low. What I'm hoping is that means that should start. I think I'll end it here because this is going to turn quite a long one and I'll resume in a bit with the fuel tank because now I've run the pressure in the fuel line down it should be no problem to check the fuel pressure when we'll to so I'm going to go great for some lunch and um, hopefully I'll be able to come back and record that all right thanks very much if anyone has any suggestions what to do with the compression here 
other than slinging like three or four mils of oil down there, which is what I'm going to do next, let me know. Okay, cheers.